Hi everyone, welcome back to Alice and the Giant Bookshelf. My name's Alice and today I'm going to be doing the Agatha Christie tag. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the Agatha Christie tag and so you will notice I am sitting somewhere different which is in front of my Agatha Christie bookshelves. This tag was invented by Julie at The Hungry Bookworm and Lil at Lil's Vintage World. I will link both of their channels down below so if you want to go and check out their tag videos they're very good and I highly recommend them. I've got my questions over here and I am ready for the Agatha Christie tag. Question one is how did you first get into reading Agatha Christie and which of her books did you read first? first Agatha Christie that I picked up was one of her most famous The Murder on the Orient Express and I can still remember the moment that I picked this up in my local library at the time I was standing in their crime section which was right at the back of the library and I can remember choosing this book and thinking I'm going to try Agatha Christie, I'm going to try uh, this Poirot book and see what I think and that was in February 2006 and I think that month alone I read about eight more Agatha Christie books. I just loved this book, so mysterious and so intriguing and it just started a huge love of Agatha Christie that has never stopped. That was how I first got into reading Agatha Christie and um So having read this in February 2006, I went on to read seven more Agatha Christie books that month and a further seven that year. I didn't read as much the following year but in 2008 I moved house and moved to a new county and that meant a whole new library full of more Agatha Christie to read. I can still picture that library too and I was delighted the day I first went in it and looked down the shelves. I can remember the Agatha Christie's were on the bottom shelf in the crime section. I can just remember being so delighted to find more Agatha Christie's that I hadn't read. And it's been a bit of a mission ever since to read them all. And this year, 2021, in January, I finally read the last one that I hadn't read yet, which was Poston of Fate. And now I've read all of the Agatha Christie books, although I haven't yet read all of her plays or her poetry or her autobiography. So I've still got those to look forward to. And I've still got the Mary Westmacott books to get to, but I know there's a question about that later. Question two is, have you read any books on Agatha and her life, autobiography or biography, etc.? The answer to this one is yes, I have read quite a few books on Agatha Christie and her life. And the first one I read was this one by Jared Cade, Agatha Christie and the Eleven Missing Days. And this is such a fascinating book. I couldn't believe when I picked this up and found out about this chapter of Agatha Christie's life that her life had such a big mystery in it as well. So this is the story of how Agatha Christie mysteriously went missing for 11 days and turned up at a health spa apparently claiming to have amnesia. It was at a very difficult time in her life. Her husband was about to leave her or had just left her and her mother had just died so she was having a very hard time in her life but the story of her disappearance has just absolutely fascinated me so I really enjoyed that one. I have read other biographical works about Agatha Christie. I read a really excellent book about all her different houses that was called Agatha Christie at Home. I think that one's by Hilary McCaskill. That's a really good book. I haven't yet read her autobiography, but I do have it. And it has a it has a CD as well, which I did listen to a little bit of, which has Agatha reading some of it herself, which is so interesting. So I am looking forward to reading that one one day. And I also have her archaeological memoir, Come Tell Me How You Live, which she wrote in her later years when she was with her second husband, on archaeological digs. So that one's a pretty cool one. One of my favourites that I've read is A is for Arsenic, which is all about the poisons of Agatha Christie. This one's by Catherine Harkup and it was really good. Very interesting if you're interested in the 
different poisons that Agatha Christie used in her books and how she came to know about them. I've also read both of John Caran's books about Agatha Christie's secret notebooks, which I've mentioned on this channel before. There's Agatha Christie's secret notebooks and Agatha Christie murder in the making. Those are both about the notebooks that Agatha Christie wrote in when writing all her books. They are just so fascinating so I highly highly recommend those. And I also own and have read these two. These are kind of almost like encyclopedias about Agatha Christie. We've got The Life and Crimes of Agatha Christie. That's a really good one. Um, this one goes through her books in publication order, I believe. And it might be in order that she wrote them. Not sure. That one's by Charles Osborne, who also wrote the novelizations of some of her plays, I believe. And we have The Complete Christie, which is an encyclopedia, so I haven't actually read this one cover to cover. So quite a few books on Agatha Christie that I've read. Question three is, have you watched any adaptations of Agatha Christie's books, films, TV shows, plays, etc.? If so, do you have a favourite? I absolutely love watching adaptations of Agatha Christie. I do enjoy David Suchet adaptations, um, which are fantastic. And I do have David Suchet's Poirot and Me autobiography here on the Agatha shelf as well. I think David Suchet is the perfect Poirot and he's just absolutely brilliant and I think one of the best adaptations and saddest adaptations is the adaptation of Curtain, Poirot's Last Case. I found that one really really emotional as I did with the book too but I think there's there's been some really brilliant adaptations featuring David Suchet's Poirot. I did go to see the Kenneth Branagh murder on the Orient Express which wasn't great. I loved the recent adaptation I think it was probably BBC of and then there were none that was absolutely brilliant. I think that's probably the best TV adaptation I think I've seen because I loved the way they did that. The ABC Murders one was very very strange. The other thing that I have watched is some Agatha Christie plays. I was lucky enough to go and see The Mousetrap in the West End and I've also seen it in Canterbury so the first time I saw it with my husband and the second time I saw it with my mum and I keep the secrets of it of course but that is a fantastic play and I can see why it's been running for so many years now. It's absolutely brilliant absolutely perfect Agatha Christie story. Brilliant, brilliant play. I've also been to see a few other Agatha Christie plays. I actually went with my husband to see a stage adaptation of And Then There Were None. That was really good. These ones were all quite local. I went to see that one. I went to see Love From A Stranger, which is an adaptation of the short story Philomel Cottage. That was a very strange play. <laughs> Went to that with my mum. That was really good, but very, very odd. It's more of a, like, who's going to do it and how than a whodunit. It leaves you feeling very, very uneasy. My favourite stage play that I've seen was the play of Five Little Pigs, which, again, I saw locally. That was an amateur group performing that, but it was really, really good because that's one of my absolute top favourites. Yeah, really, really enjoyed watching Five Little Pigs. The play of it was called Go Back for Murder. That's probably my... F mm, that or The Mousetrap is probably my favourite play. Number four is which book of Agatha Christie's would you like to read or reread next? I have now finished all of the Agatha Christie books for the first time. I don't think I've ever really reread any of them because I was concentrating on getting through all of them. I think I have reread... I've reread a couple of them in their comic book form. Um, so I have the graphic novel of Murder on the Orient Express, Mystery of the Blue Train, Dead Man's Folly and Halloween Party. And I do remember, I feel like I've read, I feel like Dead Man's Folly is one that I might have read lots of times, but I think I've actually read the book once, the graphic novel once. And I've also read Hercule Poirot and the Greenshaw Folly, which is the short story that was later developed into Dead Man's Folly and this is such a cool edition. So oh yeah. So that's a book I feel like I've read lots of times but in reality I actually haven't. I do plan on starting a reread very soon and I think I might start with The Mysterious Affair at Styles. This was the first Agatha Christie book that I bought for myself. Definitely the first Agatha Christie that I bought new. 
and I bought this I used to work as an estate agent and I bought this when I made my first the very first sale that had a bit of a memory for me I might start with that and read my way through Poirot in chronological order this time not sure whether I will or not I've been having a hankering to reread The Murder of Roger Ackroyd um, really I want to reread all of my favourites so I might, might reread Five Little Pigs I did recommend recently the book Why Didn't They Ask Evans which I would like to reread before the adaptation of that comes out on television so if anyone wants to buddy reread that with me I would love that please let me know in the comments down below Question 6 is Miss Marple or Poirot? and explain your reasonings about your choice and also your favourite non-reoccurring character so just from one of the books that you loved my favourite non-reoccurring character first is Bob the dog in Dumb Witness I think he's my favourite character of all I love the fact that Agatha Christie made a dog so pivotal to a murder plot and yeah so he's my favourite non-reoccurring my favourite reoccurring has to be Poirot every time. Um, I've loved the Poirot books so much and Miss Marple has always been far inferior to me. Um, haven't enjoyed her books as much. In fact, the Miss Marples that I really like are the ones where Miss Marple is barely in them at all and comes into them after about 100 pages. Uh, those are my favourites of the Miss Marple. So definitely Poirot and my reason is that I think he's just such a brilliant character. I love all his talk about his little grey cells, I love his relationship with Hastings and I just think he's a fascinating character. The way he dresses, the way he's obsessed with his moustaches and the way, the way that you laugh with Boirot, he's so, like such a funny character but we kind of laugh along with him, not at him, so I do love Boirot definitely borrow. Question seven is Agatha Christie also wrote as Mary Westmacott. Have you read any of these books? Yes, I read my first Mary Westmacott in May this year and that was The Rose and the Yew Tree which I really really enjoyed and I did think I would have loved to have read it not knowing it was written by Agatha Christie to see if I thought mm, this seems familiar. As it was I think that some of Agatha Christie's writing talent does shine through. There was really not that much similarity between that and her other books apart from she certainly does know how to create mysteries and hook you in because this had like a giant hook at the beginning and just kept me reading it was so interesting and I recently acquired for my birthday two more of the, of the Mary Westmacott books Giant's Bread and Unfinished Portraits so I'm looking forward to reading them they will probably be my next reads for Agatha Christie that I haven't read before unless I read her autobiography next. Question A of this was would you join a book club to read these and yes I would. I know it's a whole year since this tag came out and I know that the book club has already read Giant's Bread but I'd like to catch up on that one and if you ever do do another read along yes I would love to um, join a book club about it. Question 8 is there are quite a few books that feature Agatha as the character rather than the author. Talk about ones you've read and really enjoyed. If not, would you like to read any of them? I would like to read some of these. I haven't actually read any yet. I do have one on my TBR which is called A Different Kind of Evil by Andrew Wilson. That's the second book in a series I think and I did have the first one out of the library but I didn't get around to reading it so I would at some point like to read those two books. I think Agatha Christie is like solving a mystery in real life in those so I would like to read them and I did see another one on somebody's Instagram I think recently somebody's bookstagram might have been called the mysterious Miss Christie something like that it sounded so interesting so I'd like to read that as well but I haven't read any yet question nine was do you have a favorite Agatha Christie book that you find yourself turning to again and again. As I've said, I haven't actually reread any of the Agatha Christie books yet, although I do feel very familiar with Five Little Pigs because of going to see the play as well. And that's one I could definitely see myself returning to again and again because it's my absolute top favourite at the moment. <laughs> I thought instead I'll tell you the ones I definitely want to return to really, really soon. And I think that. I will return to them again and again so I think I will with the mysterious affair at Isles. 
Peril at End House was one I remember enjoying a lot. Lord Edgware Dies was definitely a favourite. The ABC Murders I absolutely love. Why Didn't They Ask Evans is a very obscure one that I really love and this is my favourite title in Agatha Christie. And then there were none. I definitely will return to I think probably again and again and that's another one I feel like I have returned to because I've seen a play and I've watched the adaptation and um, The Murder of Roger Ackroyd I definitely want to return to I don't yet know how I will feel about it on the second read Towards Zero is another one I'm really looking forward to reading again because it was very different there's loads I'm looking forward to returning to but I haven't as yet Question 10 is Agatha Christie is known as the Queen of Crime. Suggest another female crime author who you like to read. I'm going to tell you a crime author who is as completely different from Agatha Christie as you can get, and that is Karen Slaughter. My shelf of her books is conveniently right here near my Agatha shelf. I feel like these two couldn't be more polar opposites because Karen Slaughter's books are modern, they're extremely gruesome and violent and gory, completely the opposite to Agatha Christie's classic crime. But I have really enjoyed and continue to enjoy Karen Slaughter's books, even though they are very different to Agatha Christie's. I've also really enjoyed Tesca Ritson, on this, whose books I think are similar to Karen Slaughter's in some ways. I really love another female crime author from modern times who I've been really enjoying on audiobook is Ellie Griffiths. She writes a really good series of books called the Ruth Galloway series. Yeah, those are probably my favourite modern female crime authors. In terms of the golden age of crime I haven't really found an author I enjoy as much as Agatha Christie but I have enjoyed the books of Josephine Tay. I have also quite enjoyed Dorothy L Sayers. Definitely not as much as I enjoy Agatha Christie's books. So part A to this question is do you prefer gold, a golden age style crime book or a more modern take? Uh, I love both um, in completely different ways. I would say that Agatha Christie is probably my favourite crime author of all time so I would probably have to go with golden age but I do really enjoy reading a lot of different modern crime as well so a bit of both, maybe because I love Agatha Christie so much, Golden Age edges it. Not sure. They're very, very different. They're, they're practically two entirely separate genres. But what I love best of all about crime books is a good, juicy mystery. So I think on balance it's got to be Golden Age because Agatha is just absolutely master of the mystery. So that was my Agatha Christie tag. I really enjoyed doing this one. I hope that if you like Agatha Christie as well, you will consider doing the Agatha Christie tag and that you will go and check out Julie and Lil's channels in the description down below. I've really enjoyed this Agatha Christie tag because I love Agatha Christie. I hope you've enjoyed my video and will give it a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to continue seeing bookish content from me. Thanks for watching, I hope you'll all join me again soon for another video all about books on Alice in the Giant Bookshelf. Bye for now! <laughs>